I'm Shane Phillips, the CEO of the Phillips Group, and I'm here with Dr. David S. Cohen, Associate Professor with Durham College and the founder of David S. Cohen & Associates, one of the leading HR consultancies in Canada. David, welcome. Pleasure to be here. So, uh, David, a lot of people are talking about culture. You have a bit of a different take on it. Can you give us a little insight into what you've been working on in this area? It's to me a very interesting topic. When I got into the world of, of consulting, I had a uh, mentor who said, the only thing you really can define culture is the stuff that grows on top of yogurt. Um, that's the only positive definition of culture. And this is in 1986, before this, when leadership was really a big deal. Um, since then, I've, it's evolved. And to me, culture is the expression through various activities of the values of the organization. So the root of corporate culture are values. I define values as strongly held beliefs that are emotionally charged, resistant to change, universally applied. In other words, they're the same whether you're the new intern or the CEO, the values are the same for everybody. So values are expressed through behaviors. And they're reflected in a number of things. The one thing that I find the most reflected in is what I call corporate legends. Those stories that exemplify a time in the company's history when they live, usually in difficult times, those behaviors that made that organization great. So there's storytelling, there's the ergonomics, there's the hierarchy, the structure of the organization, all that has to reflect the values of the organization. I think it becomes confusing when people talk about culture, and I've seen this all too often, and they think as change in the strategy. We're going to become more mobile, we're going to become more lean, we're going to become more customer focused. When they talk about those things, they're changing the strategy. They're not changing the belief system of the organization. I was dealing with a institution in British Columbia many years ago that's um, their, um, the Lottery Corporation. And they asked me, they said after a government survey, we got to change our culture. We got, we've got reamed over the coals for having a bad organization by the government. And I said, what are your values now? And they said, trust, respect, honesty. And I said, wait a second. So you're going to not be honest and not be respectful anymore. And they laughed and said, no, no, we got to maintain that. So I said, you're not changing your culture, you're changing the way you execute the business. And all of a sudden they said, aha, that's true. You celebrate your culture, often when you have strayed away from your essence, by going back, I call it a back to the future exercise, going back to what made you great will make you great again. And too many organizations, I think, have been mis misled by too many people saying that we're changing our strategy so there's a culture change. And I don't think that works. I think that if you celebrate what made you great, the behaviors that engage you, that have always created respect and trust, go back to those, because you straight away from them, it'll bring you back to your greatness. And you don't have to, it's easy to change strategy. It's almost impossible to change culture. Well, it's a huge topic, and thank you for those insights. Again, I think we'll find out more about uh, your latest work in this area online. And uh, thank you so much, David, thank for you. joining us. So that was David S. Cohen, the Associate Professor with Durham College and the founder of David S. Cohen & Associates, one of the leading HR practices in Canada. Thank you.